my babies by babies by video. Sorry, I'm just gonna show the camera. Um, and I, somebody complained that I didn't in my last one. I didn't give a lot of explanation about the product. I don't know what more you want. It's they're just things that you know that I've done some research on myself. You know, I really look at the reviews, and I don't just look at like. I know Babies R Us does um, reviews that you can look at, Amazon does where you can look at, um, Target you can look at reviews, um, and then there's another one, I can't remember, um, I don't go to Walmart it's just because they don't really, I don't know if you can leave comments or, um, but I always look at the reviews and I kind of, because actually like um, Tiny's pie chair. We actually bought it because it had the lowest reviews because the biggest complaint about it was it was too short for the kids. And looking at it, it is a really small, small potty. Like, for my son, yeah, it's useless. But for her, it's perfect. Um, so yeah, look at the reviews, you know. If there's a product you're really interested in, you know, then message me and I can let you know a little bit more about why I picked it. But really, go look at reviews. It's That's the best way to look at things. So, um, and I can explain a little bit by why I bought what I did on at least a couple of the things. So, first thing is the Baby Bullet um, storage system. I do not have a Baby Bullet yet. Um, we will be getting one because my... So it's a stupid expensive one, like the hundred and thirty dollar one. Um, ours, a piece broke on it on the inside. We called the company. It's going to cost us thirty dollars for the new piece and twenty five dollars to ship it. That is fifty five dollars for for a uh, fifty nine dollars without a ten percent coupon because we did put it on a registry. Um, that's what a baby bullet was going to cost. I've read reviews where some people said the baby bullet is really good for one baby. It doesn't really have a longevity. I don't need it <laughs> to really last more than just this one baby. Um, so if it's going to cost me um, $59 for uh, $55 for to get the one that I have fixed, or just spend the extra four dollars, which actually buy it because I will buy it when I have my discount. Actually, it's gonna be cheaper to just buy a baby, uh, the yeah, the baby bullet. So this I bought it because our Bed Bath and Beyond they um, were clearancing it, so it was originally twenty dollars and marked down to fourteen. Which you know, because some people go, well, why don't you just wait for your discount? This is more. This is twenty percent off compared to what um, my Babies R Us one is going to give me. But I can just quickly show you what you get. You get the, the six little things. It's an extra tray. Um, I might go back and get another one. And then it gives you the traveling tube, which would go over to my in-laws. Um, so we might get another one. I don't know. Or I might just wait until it gets off my registry. I don't know. But, but yeah, so that's why I bought this now, because it was a good discount um, on it. And then I can't remember if I showed you guys our, the new diaper bag that we decided to get. Um, I wasn't going to wait for um, it to be purchased for us or for our, um, you know, because you get your, for those of you guys that don't know, your Babies R Us coupon comes about three weeks before you're due, about, because some people might get a little bit earlier, might get a little bit later. My son, I actually, no, we did it earlier in store. You can go to the store earlier and talk to the manager and say, look, I'm clearing off my registry right now. Can we have our 10% coupon? You will not be sent another coupon. So basically, use that coupon um, wisely. <laughs> um, if you don't want to wait until three weeks before you're due, like I didn't. I ended up going, I think, I think, yeah, they said it was going to be mailed out in the next week or two, and I said, no, I really want to get it done. Now, it was the day after our baby shower, I want to get it done. But we got this. It's a backpack style. Now, the reason I went with a backpack style, um, because I have, I do have a uh, diaper bag that is a, just a regular tote, and the problem with toddlers is that they pull on it, and um, we both decided, my husband and I both decided that a backpack probably would be easier for the two of us. Um, 
you know, with the kids. Um, and the nice thing about it is it got it has right here um, an insulated bag for um, uh, for bottles, um, which like my husband said, well that's nice because like I said for breast milk, granted, you know he wouldn't be holding it that long, but he could, you know, throw the cold pack and not have to like go. Okay, do I have? <laughs> it makes it a lot easier for him too. Um, uh, it's got a spot in the front for pacifiers, which. Um, we kind of let it pacifiers be up to the kids' decision. Um, my son used it only up until he was exactly six months old. Tiny used it, I think, for two weeks, um, and then we get we get the gumdrop ones, um, which I will go get more. Um, we do every time we have it. Uh, my thought is I don't want to transfer those on from kid to kid. I throw them out because you know sometimes they pull on them and things like that. So. I personally feel better buying brand new ones, so when I buy them, I'll show you. Um, it also has a spot right here for wipes that are easy access, um, so you know he can open it. And then diapers right here. It's it was an easy one for the two of us, and it was a backpack, but it's a uh, Fisher Price one. So um, and it's a good size for where you only, we only have two in diapers. But we'll have we have one in diapers right now where we don't even really use a diaper bag. I just have a little little tote thing. Um, and then I've got my and if I showed you guys some of this stuff already, I am sorry. My Burt's Bees wipes. Um, I love these. Um, they're chlorine free wipes, and they are fragrance free. I love Burt's Bees stuff. Um, after Tiny was um. Born, we had so many problems with her with um, like I, I have a package of Huggies wipes um, and that's more for us because you know how sometimes you get stuff on your hands but anyways after she had so many problems with different chemicals and fragrances and she ended up with a milk rash um, when she was six no seven months old and the only thing that I could find that um, would get rid of it, it's the Burt's Bees Baby Bees Bath Soak. <laughs> I think I said it right. It's in a glass bottle. You cannot find it. It's been discontinued. Um, but that's the only thing that cleared it up. Um, we actually went to every single place we could to get and just to get a whole bunch of it. I do have, uh, I think, two bottles left of it. Because every so often she ends up with a rash and the um, Aveeno... She can't use that one because it ended up making her rash more sensitive. That was the only thing that actually soothed it. So, for newborns, I trust Burt's Bees. Um, and that's just my personal preference. Um, and then of course, like I said, I got the Huggy Wipes. This is more for my husband and I, you know, because sometimes you do, like, get something on your hand and you go, like, and I don't want to be using, you know, the baby's wipes on them, you know, and these ones, you know, they're relatively cheap. These are $8 a piece, so they are a little bit more expensive. Or no, 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 I'm thinking of a different one. Yeah, the other ones that we sometimes use, the um, Mistella ones, those are expensive, um, but I like these ones. Um, and then this, I bought. And this I did, yes, I bought this before we knew, boy, girl. Little bumblebee. So, and obviously I bought that because it's cute. And our whole theme of our reveal was, um, what will baby be? So, and then this is now, um, if you haven't watched our, um, reserved for, I will link it below, but... Spoiler alert, so I'm going to pause for a little bit here and you guys can click off and go watch that. I'm going to in like five seconds. I'll count down. You guys, uh, basically if you haven't watched it yet and you don't want to be spoiled, stop the video now, okay? So in five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so <laughs> we didn't get much for Madeline. Um, just because I have to go through what I have and see what tiny, um, I know her newborn stuff, it's okay. Her zero to three month stuff and on 
some of the stuff got worn out really bad because she wore it um, most of the clothes you know you can get a good three months out of them ish hers we were stretching about six months and you know we did discover that some clothes don't don't really last the way they should so um, so yeah so we I still have to go through that stuff but we wanted to just get a couple little things um, and this actually I didn't get this was um, what Auntie Alicia got her and it says uh, um, I make Auntie smile now keep in mind Auntie Alicia is not my sister I just, we unfortunately our kids have no aunt so they have a you know adopted aunt um, but she's like my best friend so my kids do call her Auntie Alicia so so she got that um, because she knows, she knows that I'm a huge pink fan, but she knows that Mike is more of a purple fan. My husband likes purple. So. And then we put, we got this today. It's a cat, and it says, pretty like mommy. Um, it was two for five. So then we got just purple pants. Because uh, I, I figured purple pants, I know it will match other onesies that I have and things like that. Um, and then we've got, this is a newborn, and it's just got a little froggy, but what the cute thing is, is that Tiny has um, pajamas just like this that have, it's a princess frog from Carter's, so it has the frog and it's got the pink with the white polka dots, but this I liked it because it had a little bee on it, and I just figured it was so cute because of the whole what will baby be, so yeah, that's, that's it for the baby buys, there's not much, but you know little bit here and there so yep so if there's any products that you want to know more about I can let you know but other than that I just we buy what we like we do our own research on it and um, and if you guys do want to see a review because I know some of you guys are looking into double strollers um, I can do a review on our stroller keep in mind though we do have a um, baby trend car seat to go in our baby trend stroller so if you're asking about it being um, compatible with others I don't know <laughs> that would be something that you guys would um, you know want to look at reviews maybe but I can tell you just from my personal opinion okay so just comment um, below let me know if you guys want to see um, my review on it because keep in mind we've we have used it this actually will be our um, well, actually, we probably won't be using it until baby is born just because my son is a little too big for it. And when I say a little bit too big, like, we want him to kind of understand that he can get out of it now. And so there's a spot for baby. So, so yeah. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.